Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got something a little bit different. We've been playing a lot of battleships lately and uh, I've run into some, some fun times as a few of you who were in matches with me should have uh, heard at some point. Um, but I've run into some fun times running into freaking torpedoes that you can't avoid. Uh, and that is one of the most frustrating parts of this game right now is that you can get people with literally no skill in destroyers running straight at you. You can hit them with 406 millimeter eight or it's uh, 16 inch guns armed with high explosive and not kill them before they can get point blank and dump 10 torpedoes into the front and side of your ship from closer than you can do anything about. And uh, so in the fun of of torpedoes being uh, totally not overpowered according to everybody else even though it is literally a guaranteed citadel every time one of them hits something uh, you know a battleship actually has to aim and try to get citadels and lead to targets and stuff these things you literally just pull out here and go oh look uh, I'll just dump these and sail away and not have to worry about anything and maybe I'll hit something maybe I won't but we have the upgraded torpedoes, which means this this thing can reach out and touch somebody. Finally. Finally. Good God, it took long enough. The American torpedoes have been pretty rough because there's such a low uh, uh, distance before they disappear. So uh, luckily, now that we're on the Benson and we have the upgraded torpedoes, we have the longer range. Now, I was detected for a little bit here. Now, you guys know one of the things that I've always said about the American uh, torpedo boats or the uh, destroyers is that they're gunboat first and uh, we're going to be using the guns quite a bit in this but we're also going to use the torpedoes now again throwing that wall of skill out there didn't didn't uh, result in any good good penetration or good hits or anything like that uh, but we have a Pensacola going broadside on so I've already loaded armor piercing and I'm looking to try to get some citadels on this guy uh, now I know what you're thinking but Spartan, if you fire your guns, they're going to see you. Ah, but I'm not in the smoke screen. I'm behind it, which means I am able to fire the guns. Now, I'm kind of sailing out of it at the moment, but we'll just turn the ship around and watch how quickly the guns come back around to the other side. And just like that, I've got all my guns again. So we go ahead, launch some armor piercing at the side of that Pensacola. Or are we going to get a Citadel? Come on. Nope, no citadels, but we do get some good hits. And uh, it looks like he's about to sail right into those friendly torpedoes. So uh, that's not going to be a good day for him. Uh, looks like at least one, maybe two. Is he going to get two? Uh, nope, only two. Only needed one. Oh, but Benson, how you doing, sunshine? We're going to go ahead and uh, intercept this Benson and see if we can't get him off the board. We got some good good effective fire going on the target right now literally and uh we're just gonna get up in there now we have an aoba out there so I'm, I'm checking at least where the computer says i should aim and uh unfortunately he was out he would have been outside my range so i go ahead fire some torpedoes into the smoke uh just to make sure that if that guy's still in there oh there he is he's spotted come on spartan now we know there's torpedoes in the water, so we go ahead and avoid them, and then we start raining onto this Benson once again. And uh, as you can see, he ain't long for this world. He does speed up, we get another round on him, and unfortunately the, uh, the teammate finishes him off first. But we still have the Aoba out there, and I have a whole wall of trouble headed that direction. But it would take... Somebody that's really not paying attention, because I know that Aoba's probably spotted these, and there we spot the uh, enemy torpedoes off to our left. Oh, Icarus. Oh, Icarus, are you going to sail into my... You're going to sail right into them. <laughs> this is one of those torpedoes to whom it may concern, as Bolvi likes to say. <laughs> when you, you just fire your torpedoes off into the distance, and then somebody ran, runs right into them. That was completely unintentional. You gotta love it. Now the Aoba, once again, firing torpedoes at us. And uh, we're just avoiding them because we're in a destroyer and it's very easy to avoid torpedoes in a destroyer. And uh, we're just gonna close the distance. We wanna try to push up on these guys. Now I'm not gonna lie, I get run into uh, here in a minute, 
by a teammate. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. And uh, this teammate is a complete and utter failure. I don't know who he is. I don't care. He's just he's a genius. An absolute genius. But anyway, back to the Aoba. We're just biding our time. We're, we're detected right now. We're uh, trying to find out where we should probably throw these torpedoes. And uh, we've got the Colorado out there who's sailing towards the mouth of the channel. But he's low health, so we don't worry about trying to torpedo him. But the Aoba is looking like he's going to come right back out in front of us. Oh, but he's behind the next rock. That's unfortunate. Really is. But we've got the broadside of a Colorado. Uh, there's not a whole lot he can do about it. He is shooting at us. I don't know why, but shooting at me, you know, because there's so many other people that are uh, much easier targets. But, you know, is what it is. Go ahead, give the uh, Aoba a wide salvo. Oh, almost. We screwed up. We're going to fire it behind where it says because I'm expecting him to turn away. And so we want to try to catch him. But even even firing them from behind where the game says to shoot, he's still able to avoid them because he turns away immediately and gets out of there. So uh, good job by him. Not so good for me, but it's a thing. We still got the Colorado who hasn't been killed yet. He has no health, but hasn't been killed. We've got the Aoba, and we've got a King George out there. I believe it's King George. And so we've got to be careful, but we have an, a Matsuki here. We're going to go ahead and start uh, trying to uh, fire high explosive at him. Now, the reason I keep switching to the AP when I get close to those cruisers is because I'm hoping that the cruiser gives me the broadside of a ship because these American gunboats with their... Uh, Armor piercing can and will citadel the crap out of a uh, a cruiser that's broadside. So uh, I always always am ready for that moment when they decide to screw up. Now this is the teammate that I was talking about. Again, not really interested in shaming the teammate, but he is an absolute dip, and that's me being nice. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to now. Notice this guy sat here for how long? He's been sitting here this entire time. All right, just keep this in mind. This man has sat here for God only knows how long, just sitting still, not doing anything other than firing his guns uh, at what he can, which nothing wrong with that, if that's what you want to do. But the moment I come in here and get ready to go around him, he starts speeding up. Of course, that makes me ram him. So then I start backing off. I try to turn so that he gains some distance. He then turns, and then I'm like, dude, come on. I try to slow, or I think I try to slow down here and go behind him he turns again ramming me it's like really and at this point i'm like dude what are you doing choose a direction and go i don't care what you do just choose a direction so what does he do he immediately chooses the direction that i'm in and rams me some more because why not and uh luckily i'd already hit my propulsion and uh i was able to outrun him and get beyond him because we have this king george who is awful juicy up here now right up to this point you're like oh but spartan was this really a game that you wanted to post it's i mean it's it's really really not that impressive so far you've got a teammate that run into you or you ran into him uh just you know to each his own but uh we've got an aoba out here are we going to get some armor piercing penetrations on the side of this thing finally come on wait for it oh didn't pin him there. Come on, Spartan. Get the guns on target. He's firing at you. That's not preferable. Yep, that was a big hit. Definitely not preferable. But he goes broadside on. We get a full broadside on him. And there are the citadels that we've been waiting for this entire time. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Hi, King George. You know, you're awful sexy out here all by yourself. Oh, look at all these torpedoes. If I get hit by any of them, I'm dead. I almost turned right into that. Almost turned right into it. But I didn't. And now this guy is literally, what, one kilometer away when I fire my torpedoes off? 
Let's see just how many I can kill them with. Wait for it. Yeah, there's three, four, five, six, and the kill. <laughs> we sent ten of them at him, just in case. But we hit him with ten, or we hit him with six. And that's all it took to kill him. So what do we end up with, guys? Oh, just a measly 75,000 damage in a destroyer with eight torpedo hits. 36 and three kills. So in the end, not too shabby for a guy who plays battleships to jump in a destroyer and uh, go out and cause a little bit of havoc. Again, two citadels, not the greatest game ever, but still, that, that end kill I think was, was worth it. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.